Hello and welcome to this Dr. Rossmas key skill video on converting units of capacity by dividing. Now capacity is just how much space something takes up in 3D. So it might be the capacity of a vase, for example. The capacity of a vase just means how much water could it contain. Now let's think about the conversions involved in these questions. You just need to know that if you have one litre, that is equal to a thousand millilitres. So ML is short for millilitres. And milli just means a thousandth. So one millilitre is a thousandth of a litre, and one litre is a thousand millilitres. Now a unit you might not have seen is centilitres. And centre just means a hundredth off. Like a centimetre, for example, is a hundredth of a metre. So one centilitre is a hundredth of a litre. Or another way of writing that is that one litre is a hundred centilitres. And if we combine these two together, that means that one centilitre is equal to 10 millilitres. So those are the conversions that we need to know. Let's think about these. Convert 2,800 millilitres to litres. Now let's look, here we can see millilitres and here's litres. Now we're going from millilitres to litres. We're going from millilitres to litres. And can you see to get from millilitres to litres, that number is getting smaller and it's getting a thousand times smaller. So all we need to do is we need to do 2,800 800 divided by a thousand and you remember when you divide by a thousand that's going to move the decimal place three times because there's three zeros there so the decimal place starts at the end of the number after the units digit which is here and we move one two three and the decimal point will now be here which is 2.8 so it's 2.8 liters what about b convert 320 millilitres to litres. So we're going from millilitres to litres again, so we're going to divide by a thousand. And the decimal point is currently here, and it's moving one, two, three places. So it's going to be just before the three. So it's going to be point three to zero, and we need to put that zero in front of the decimal point. We don't need that zero at the end, so it's just 0 0.32 litres. And C convert 450 millilitres to centilitres. Now let's see this bottom one here. To go from millilitres to centilitres, can you see that that number is getting 10 times smaller to get from millilitres to centilitres? So we just need to do 450 divided by 10, and that gives you 45 centilitres. That's the final answer.